My name is Austin Huddleston, and I'm the lead server engineer at Frost Giant. We have this laser-focused vision of making this next RTS game together. Um, I know for a lot of us, myself included, games like Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2 are like such big parts of our lives um, that it's, it's really kind of awesome to get to work alongside some of the people who made that happen. Um, and at the same time, it sort of blows my mind to be able to be a part of trying to write what is hopefully the next chapter in that story. Frost Giant has done a really good job of like setting myself up to, uh, to do my best work. Uh, I think the, the flexibility around work from home is a big part of that. The office where we can collaborate is a big part of that. And just like the people on the team are another like huge uh, part of that as well. Um, there's like a lot of, <laughs> we have some really, really incredible people who work here. And so there's a lot to, uh, there's a lot to teach myself, obviously, as I'm like doing my work. Uh, but there's also a lot to learn from the people who I'm working with. We've got a great team culture. We had a hot wing eating competition not too long ago, and that was a lot of fun. The hot wings contest was sort of Kevin's idea, and he spent a lot of time organizing it. We had plenty of milk, plenty of ice cream, and just had just rounds of <laughs> hot wings brought out, and we all got to choose if, if like to what level we wanted to go. We started with one, went all the way up to 10. Uh, I made it all the way through 10. Uh, just, uh, yeah, that was hard, but I did it. I made it. Um, <laughs> it was funny seeing everybody in their different reactions to eating those hot wings. Um, that was that was really funny. So for me, working at Frost Giant, one of the probably the best part about it is the game itself. Um, there's like no shortage of really challenging, really interesting problems to try and solve. Um, I think games in general uh, like is a really fascinating type of software to develop. Uh, typically, it has to be network has to be real time has to pull in all these different types of technologies and have it work in one portable package um and so games in general are already like a really fascinating space to work in but rts games like sort of kick that up to the next level uh in that like a lot of the solutions that may work for other genres that uh like a lot of the cookie cutter solutions that you would apply to other genres just don't apply to rts games um, and so there's, there's just no shortage of really tough problems to solve. That's what makes my job so awesome is I, I get to solve tough problems every single day. Hi, I'm Mary Kessel and I'm a rigor slash technical artist. I've worked in the industry for over 20 years, but I've never worked on RTS. So I'm super excited. I started just a generalist and then I slowly evolved and really identified with rigging and just tech art as the years evolved. When I first interviewed for Frost Giant, uh, I just got a really good vibe from the people. And they were all team players, and just really genuine, hardworking, and just really cared about making this, this game. They all have families, and that was a big plus for me. Um, just really a collaborative group, and that was a plus. And, um, Flexible hours, uh, nice hybrid schedule. That was awesome. And I'm working with such amazing, I was just blown away with the talent here and I was excited to work with them. Uh, I was a teacher for the Art Institute for a few years and um, for LMU. And I worked part-time as I would work um, full-time in the day and then in the evenings I would teach. When I first started working, I found out that one of my students was here and um, it turned out that Michael Tuna was one of my students, and um, I actually remembered him. And I said I had a lot of students, so if I remembered a student, I knew they were really good and um, very motivated. Actually, when I first interviewed, I was a little hesitant because um, it was Blender and Unreal, and I hadn't used Unreal for a good time, a long time. And um, Blender was totally new, but when I started researching it and and conversing with Jesse, I was just blown away at what 
the capability of a free software <laughs> compared to the standards in our industry. So um, I was just really impressed. And since I've been here, it's just amazing what we've done with it like so far to build our whole pipeline. We have um, some fun um, side events like the chili cook-off. Um, I participated as well as uh, my son was there. Um, but uh, I didn't get too far. <laughs> I went to like a fourth level, but it was it was fun and in informal way of, of getting a know, to know the team and and just relaxing and seeing how daring everybody is. We have a life outside of the work. We work hard when we're there, but we also understand that that um, we need time to rejuvenate and be with our families too. If we're not in person, we're slacking and we're just always communicating. And no matter how busy we are, we always have time to kind of crack a joke or something. <laughs> we just we just have a good rapport. Um, I knew that from day one. I feel like everybody's always willing to learn and willing to listen and everybody just wants everyone to win, which is really great. That's how it should be everywhere.